I talked about several things that I had purchased on and I was planning to go out to Reflections and maybe kit some of those up. And I did. Um, this, and this is the one I worked on the least, but this is the Primitive Hair Christmas Carol Sampler. I'm sorry my lighting is terrible today. It is very rainy and dreary out, although now the clouds are starting to clear a little bit. But I had the lights all on. I'm in the kitchen, and I had the lights all on, and it, there was too much of a glare, so I turned the lights off. So, um, And this isn't a great picture anyway, but it is the Christmas Carol Sampler by The Primitive Hair. I absolutely love this. Okay, so I fitted this up. This is a this I'm super excited about this fabric. This is a piece of linen. The color is ancient, and this is 32 count. Um, I just got ever the tiniest start on the rooftop of one of the buildings, but if you can see this, it's pretty true to color. It's kind of a gold and it has bluey splotches in it, kind of gray bluey splotches in it. And I, I thought this was, Julie came up with this. She's a kind of a genius at picking fabrics, um, for, for projects. So that's Christmas Carol Sampler. I worked on that just a little bit on Santa Sunday, I think I got a start on that. And yeah, I really like that. And I'll, I think I'll work on that again this weekend as well. Uh, the next one is the Barbara Anna Designs, the pumpkin, what is this called? The Witch, the Crow, and the Pumpkin. And this is the one that I got for that this is one I ordered from Jen's Stitching Niche and got this for the pennies on this. I mean, I love the cross stitch part of it, but sorry for the glare, but I love the pennies on this. And I started this, I, so I think I went out to Julie's on Tuesday afternoon last week. And so I may have started this Tuesday night, but if not, I started it Wednesday morning and uh, actually got kind of a lot. There is the almost the crow done and the beginnings of the witch. Um, I this fabric is also oh, ooh, beautiful. It's oaken, thirty-two count oaken. Thirty-two count is my is my jam. That's my I really love thirty-two count. But let me see if I can show you the mistake that I made. So uh, Julie was we picked out fabric and then I was pulling the DMC and the fancy flosses. This one I'm just doing in DMC. And but I was pulling the floss while Julie was cutting fabric and serging it for me and. These are all of the, and I was kind of doing it project by project, and these are all of the flosses, the DMCs, that this pattern called for. And then it called for a DMC, I think it is the 3340, DMC 3340, which was for the witch's face. Like her face and her, and her leg there, not, I mean it's like six or eight stitches. And somehow, in the process, I pulled 3846, which looks like this. You would have thought, when I saw that these were the colors, that I, it would have been a signal to my brain that that clearly is not part of... Anyway, so I still need to go get 3340 for her face, so that's why her face and her leg is not stitched. Um, anyway, that one, uh, it's Witchy Wednesday today. That is going to be in my game plan for today. Uh, the real reason I had to go out to Julie's was to get my, the next in my farmhouse Christmas series. And I haven't looked at this in months. I haven't picked this up in months. I've just been collecting the charts and sticking them in the folder and um, thought I was way further along on this than I really am, but um, I am struggling with this. I remembered when I pulled it out that I had to pretty much frog the whole house. Uh, the first one is the farm. It's this one. You've all seen this. And um, I remembered when I pulled it out, the, the, the barn was barely finished, and I thought, oh yeah, that's right, I had to frog the whole thing. I was off by a stitch, and 
And so I started stitching back up and realized I'd made another mistake in the rooftop and so I had to frog that. Um, and it's still not perfect, but it's better. And so here I am only on the first, look at that, not very far along. So I finished up the roof, which wasn't done, got a little bit more of this border in and then started the next the next in the block, even though this isn't finished, I was just tired of doing white. Um, I love this, I love it, and hopefully the next ones will go a little more smoothly. Um, and I also plan to work on this every Sunday um, and possibly Merry Monday, along with some other Christmas something or other. Um, the next one that I kitted up for from Julie, and I was very excited about this, and I said, do you know, do, I said, do you know the Plum Street Sampler Harvest Delivery? And she goes, yeah, it's on the wall over there. So she had the model of this, and I, uh, this is one. This is one I bought from Jen Stitching Niche when I was just looking for sunflowers, and I love this. It does have a sunflowery feel, but it also has pumpkins. So we kitted this up. This is on a piece of... Um, Meadow Rue 32 count Meadow Rue that and now one of the things the only thing I said to Julie on this one is that I wanted a little piece a little bit darker so that that horse would really pop the horse is done and I did do all the fancy flosses for this the horse is done in gentle arts oatmeal which looks like that and so look at that I think that really really will show up nicely on there and will pop you know, this is Harvest Delivery and it has pumpkins on it. I just realized I haven't started this one yet. I may start this today and work on this a little bit for Witchy Wednesday. I love this. I this well, you know me in Plum Street, but um yeah. <laughs> I wish I could remember what she said, but McKenna commented on my last video about something like Plum Street's gonna be your demise or something and yeah, she's right it is. So I did all the fancy flosses for that one and I absolutely love it. Okay, and then I um, I have to go quickly, otherwise this is gonna be three videos. Um, I saw this on Stitch Mania on Facebook and I, I this was one that I saw and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to have that. This is a Leisure Arts chart. Oh no, it's, sorry, it's a Better Homes and Gardens chart probably from 1980. I didn't even look to see what the, yeah, 1987. I didn't, I don't even think I knew. Yeah, I did know how to cross stitch in 1987, but I had just learned. Um, many of you may have seen this, but it's, um, it's called A Mid Amish Life. And it looks like this, and it's a series of three, and someone had finished it, and she just did a gorgeous job, and she finished it just like this in the three separate frames. And I thought, oh, I wanna do that. I wanna do it exactly like that. And so I just went to the, the there are, it, it's charted in both Anchor and DMC, and I think there are 65 colors in this. I just bought a piece of um, even weave from Hobby Lobby when I was there. This is the reason, the real reason I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, and started this, this is just a piece of off-white even weave, and I got a start just on the rooftop and the little, um, so I'm right here, working from the middle. Um, let's see, now I've lost my train of, right here. So I'm right here. So I, I don't know what it is about this. This is kind of one of those traditional cross stitch. There's tons of back stitch in it. Um, but I love this. I think it's just, I, I don't I can't explain it. But you should see the flosses. There are a gajillion. So then while I was at Hobby Lobby, I took a quick glance. Ho My Hobby Lobby has completely redone their, um, completely redone their cross stitch aisle. And um, they had gotten rid of all of their dimensions gold and dimensions charts. And then they've brought some back. And so while I was, so I always take a quick glance at those to see what they have, and usually there's not, usually they have a lot of Disney ones, which I like, but not really super interested in seeing those. This is a Dimensions Gold collection. It is called, what is it called? Let's see what it's called. 
um, a treasured time. And I actually have a rug that I'm working on that looks very similar to this. And so, I don't know. This is one that I have no idea when I might start or... or I, although I thought about starting it on Santa Sunday. But it's just... It looks like that. And it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So, you know, and it, the thing is, is it's kitted up. And I used my 40% off coupon because those are kind of pricey. Not really pricey when you consider that they're kitted. But then while I was looking for the Dimensions Gold stuff, I realized that they're now selling uh, Riolis charts, or kits as well. And the majority of them I didn't like, but I found this one that I absolutely loved. It's called An Afternoon in the Country, and it looks like this. And I thought that was just gorgeous. So I actually got a start on this, and I'm not a huge fan of the fabric. It's, it's on a piece of Ada. It's on... I think this is 16 count Ada. I'm not sure. But I wanted to show you the flosses. So they all came organized on these floss cards. And they're wool. It's a wool and acrylic blend. And they are gorgeous to stitch with. They are just beautiful to stitch with. So I actually got a little bit of a start on this as well. Is I had a hankering to do a little bit of long stitch needle point and so I went through my I have a kind of a stack of projects and I found and I'm, I've definitely been in the mood to work on autumn fall kind of stuff and I found autumn medley which actually has sunflowers on it I had completely forgotten about this so it looks like that and um, I have that whole center section already done and just working on the side section. So I worked on that, I don't know, just a few hours the other day and I love that, I think that's so beautiful. So while I was out at Julie's, I happened to mention to her that I was having a hard time finding Christmas ornament charts to do this year for the kids. And she said, well, what about the hands-on designs? And I said, yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of that colorway. And, and so these are the ones that are kind of done in aqua and white and brown and maybe like a tealy kind of color and Priscilla is doing them and she's adding some red in and then Julie did or Dan actually stitched one and he used the he used the called for flosses but he put it on sort of a sparkly blue bluey kind of fabric and it really it really it, it's it's lovely so I picked out two of those. This one is Christmas Eve. You guys have seen these. This, I think this is the one that Dan had done. Oh, it's pretty. And then I liked Tree Farm as well. Because that's one I maybe can do for Ryan. I think that's kind of on the masculine side. But then while we were looking, she goes, what about the chalkboard series? So these are from a couple years ago maybe. And they're the chalkboard ornaments. This one is called, this one is part two, and it's got glad tidings, goodwill to all, and great joy, and it's those, and then this one is silent night, sugar plums, and silver bells. Silver bells is Caitlin's favorite Christmas song, so I'm going to have to do that one for her. I've done silent night for, not this silent night, but I think I'll lose a Kate silent night for Ryan. Um, yeah, so maybe the kids will get more than one ornament this year. Um, I had mentioned knitting socks um, and wanting to have three pair of socks done by September 7th and that that was probably not going to happen, but that was kind of my goal. Um, I am working on one and I found a mistake in it, first of all. I fixed the mistake, but you can kind of see it, so I can't I can't live with that. I, I stitched three or four more rows. I don't have them here, but I stitched three or four more rows and decided hey, I can't live with that mistake. So that's going to have to come out and still, I still have that goal of three pair by September 7th. It's not going to happen. I already know it's not going to happen, but that's kind of my goal. So, uh, yeah, I don't have anything major to do today. I pulled out a roast for dinner tonight, so I'm going to throw that in the crock pot here in a little bit. And then, um, I plan to stitch today and see what the kids need and kind of hang out with them. And um, yeah, so looking forward to the day. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I hope that you're getting lots of stitching in. I hope that uh, transitioning back to school has been well for those of you who are having to go through that. And maybe talk to you in a week or so. Bye, guys.